Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's video wherein we will be looking at the third, uh, there is a third concept video for time and distance right, topic. So, in this video we shall be looking at few additional concepts, uh, I intend to take two areas today, relative speeds as well as uh, boats and streams. Right. So, let us get started with the discussion, right, relative speed, boats and streams. So, let us start with relative speed concept, as far as your competitive exams are concerned, we only have two cases under relative speed. One is when the two people are moving in the same direction. Let us say A is moving at A meters per second, B meters per second is the speed of B. They are moving in same direction or they are moving in opposite direction. A meters per second, again B meters per second. Now, when they are moving in same direction, in such a case, if someone asks us what would be speed of A with respect to B, because when I say A is moving at A meters per second, that is with respect to the ground, right? 10 meters, 5 meters, whatever is the speed given, that is with respect to the ground which is stationary. Now, if I ask you what is speed of one person with respect to the other, that is where we use the concept of relative speeds. Right? So, relative speed in case of same direction is calculated as difference of the two speeds. So, that means relative speed of A with respect to B will be equal to A minus B meters per second. I am assuming A to be greater than B. A is moving at a faster pace. Now, in this case when they are moving in opposite direction, here the relative speed of one person with respect to the other will be nothing but sum of the speeds. A plus B meters per second. So, in case of same direction, it is a difference, opposite direction, it is the sum of the speeds. So, right? Now, one more thing that we need to remember about relative speeds is whenever we apply relative speeds, it is applicable only when the case is involving two individuals. So, if there are three or more, you can apply relative speed, but only on two of the four people or three people. Also, one more thing, we will only consider, as I said, the case of same direction or opposite direction will not consider people moving at 60 degree angle, 30 degree angle, etc. will not do all that as far as our MBA entrance examinations are concerned. These two cases alone are sufficient. One more point about relative speed is, whenever we apply relative speed, always we keep the slower person at rest. We keep the slower person at rest and we will assume that the faster one is moving at relative speed. In the sense, if you take this first representation, here slower person is B, so we will assume that B is at rest and the other person is moving towards B at speed of A minus B meters per second. So, these two cases are identical cases as far as the overall solving process is concerned. Similarly, we keep the slower body at rest, I am again assuming B and the faster body will be moving at A plus B meters per second. So, that is the second point about the relative speeds. Right? Let us also cover boats and streams so that we can, because the example that I have here today will involve boats and streams too. So, let us cover that. So, boats and streams, if you take a boat which is moving in still water. So, let us say the speed of the boat is u k m p h, the water will not be having any impact on the boat. So, it would not be affecting uh, the speed of the boat anyway. So, speed of the boat will remain as u k m p h. However, if you take boat travelling in a stream, so boat is moving at u k m p h, the stream is also going right v k m p h. Now, this kind of movement we call it as the boat is going downstream, we call it as downstream movement and the speed downstream will be given as sum of the speeds u plus v k m p h. Third case, when the boat is moving against the stream, boat is going right, whereas the stream is going left. Now, in this movement we call it as upstream movement and the speed upstream will be given as speed of the boat minus speed of the stream u minus v k m p h. 
So we have typically three cases out here in boats and stream. One is boat is traveling in still water, boat is moving downstream, boat is moving upstream and accordingly there will be three different speeds of the boat, effective speeds of the boat that we will consider. Here the effective speed of the boat is nothing but speed of the boat u. Here it will be effective speed is called as speed downstream which is u plus v. Here it is speed upstream which is called which is u minus v kmph. So as far as the theory is concerned that is that is it. This is what is needed for this short video. We will start with the question now. So this is the question that we have alright. Just pause the uh, video once alright, pause it once and give this question a try yourself alright. Uh, this seems to be a long question and I am sure it will take some effort, it would be a challenge question also right. Please uh, pause it, try it for like 5 minutes, 7 minutes and then resume the video right. We shall discuss this question however now alright. Uh, you can just verify what you thought, what you got as the answer, is it right or not. Let us start by reading the question. It says, Vijay and his girlfriend started from a point on a river and rode upstream. So, they are moving against the stream. So, I will just try to draw it here. Let us say they started here. So, this was the point A where they started. They are going upstream. So, that means the stream is moving in this direction. Let us assume speed of the stream is v k m p h. I do not know if it is given or not, but let us assume v. If it is given, I will change the variable. So, they are travelling upstream like this. After rowing for 2 hours, so this way they continued for 2 hours. So, let us say they reached after 2 hours point b, point b. After rowing for 2 hours, Vijay stopped the boat. So, this is where he stopped, right, point B. He wanted to give a flower to his girlfriend, but it slipped from his hand and floated downstream. So, at this moment, the flower fell in the water. And the moment the flower fell in the water, it started moving with the stream, right, going left. They rowed upstream for 2 more hours. So, after this, they rowed for 2 more hours. Let us assume they went till C. They rode for 2 more hours and then turned back. So, at point C, they turned back. They caught up with flower at a point 6 kilometers downstream from the point at which it fell into the river. At point B, it fell into the river. So, while they come back, while they came back, I will just clean this. While they came back, they caught up with this flower 6 kilometers from point B. So, somewhere here, let us say. So, this is where they caught up with the flower. <coughs> Find the speed of the stream. So, let us assume speed of the stream is v. Right. So, let I will just start with this assumptions. Let speed of the stream is v. Speed of the boat which is not given is u. Kmph. Right. Both are in kilometers per hour. So, from A to B it was upstream journey that means the speed would have been u minus v and they rode for 2 hours that means this distance would be speed into time 2 into u minus v a b distance. Now, at this point the flower fell in the uh, river again they travel for 2 more hours b c distance will also be u minus v into 2 and at point c they turn back they turn back. And they travel this entire distance. Now, how much distance are they traveling? Please note, they are traveling again 2 into u minus v entirely bc distance plus this distance is given to be 6 kilometers. bd distance is 6 kilometers. They caught up with the flower at a point 6 kilometers downstream from the point at which it fell into the river. <coughs> that means, please notice the movement of the flower. So, in the time in which the boat travelled from B to C and then from C to D. The time in which the boat travelled from B to C and then C to D, can I say the flower travelled like this from point B to D? So, this is the movement of the flower. Now, in this time, how is the boat travelling? Boat is travelling from B to C and then again C to D. Same time, the time is same for both, right? So, one thing that we can note here is 
the time taken by the flower to travel from B to D is same as time taken by the boat to travel from B to C and then C to D. So let us try to understand what is the time taken for the flower. So for the flower time taken will be what? The distance 6 kilometers by the speed of the flower happens to be what? Which is speed of the stream only V will be equal to time taken by the boat for going BC the time was 2 hours right they rode upstream for 2 more hours right and then they turn back. Now while they turn back please note the total distance that they are running is 6 plus 2 into u minus v alright and what speed are they travelling now they are going downstream so it is u plus v. So we get something like this right so here here and try to solve this by taking LCM and all. So, this will be 6 by V. So, this is going to be 2u plus 2v plus 2u minus 2v in numerator here minus 2v plus 6 by u plus v. So, let us simplify this more cross multiply 6u plus 6v here 2v will cancel out it will be 4u plus 6v. 4u plus sorry 4u plus 6 when you multiply by v it will be 4uv plus 6v right something like this 6v we can cancel out and here finally right 6u will be equal to 4uv u of course is not 0 so we can cancel this out also and finally you will be left with v as 6 upon 4 which is nothing but 3 by 2 or 1.5 kilometers per hour. So, we could solve it like this, right? we will get our answer. He is asking the speed of the stream only, we will get the answer as 1.5 kilometers per hour like this. This is one way in which we can look at the problem. Alternately, let us look at one more way, one more approach. Observe, we can also try to think about the problem in the following manner. From the point B, boat is going right the flower is going left constantly. So, boat goes right till the point C and then it turns back then reaches the flower at point D. Right? Now, please consider the movement of the boat from B to C. So, when you look at the boat's movement from B to C, it is moving away to the right at a speed of u minus v. During the same time, please notice what is happening to the flower. Flower is moving in the opposite direction at speed of v right speed of the stream. So, that means if I ask you what is the relative speed of the boat with respect to the flower since they are moving in opposite direction it is going to be u minus v plus v it is u. Yes, some of the speeds because they are moving in opposite direction. Now, at point c the boat turns back. So, at point c the boat is also going left. The flower is anyways continuing in the same direction at the same speed. Now, when the boat turns left can I say it is going downstream? what will be its speed? u plus v. Its speed will be u plus v. So, here again if you apply relative speed, can I say relative speed will be difference of the speeds now, which is because they are moving in same direction, which is again u k m p h. So, that means can I say the relative speed of the boat with respect to the flower while going to the left also and while coming back to the right also is the same, is the same, uh, right? I, I hope we are clear with this. The relative speed of the boat while going away from the flower also, while approaching the flower also is the same. Now, if the relative speed is same, can I think of it like this? The flower, the slower body is at rest. Only the boat is travelling away from the flower for 2 hours, going to some point and then again coming back for, can I say same 2 hours? Because while going away, it is travelling at you. While coming back also it is travelling at you. So, thus can I say it should take the same time if it has taken 2 hours for going, it will take exactly 2 hours for coming back also. So, that means the overall travel time for the boat will be 4 hours. Please understand overall 2 hours for going, 2 hours for coming back, 2 hours. Now, in this 4 hours, 2 plus 2, 4 hours, can I say the flower has moved 6 kilometers? Hence, can I say speed of the flower is nothing but or speed of the stream is nothing but 6 kilometers by 4 hours which is again 1.5 kilometers per hour. So, here there is no need of making some really really 
equations to think about just small thinking is involved there the relative speed is constant so while going back and coming back it's moving at the same speed effective speed so thus it will take same time 2 hours for going away 2 hours for coming back so overall 4 hours i hope we are clear with this approach also so this was a really good problem which had i just clean all of this you can copy it if you want so this is a really good problem which had application of both uh, relative speed also, if we solve it the second way, and also both and stream, right? So this was the only question that I have for today, right? Uh, which encompasses all the areas, so right? The two different areas that we covered today. Please practice more questions from this area because in your competitive exams, particularly CAT, from time, speed, and distance, you get questions from basics concepts also, like variations. You get questions from some advanced concepts like relative speed. Sometimes average speeds, huh? sometimes boats in stream escalators also. Right? So on that note, uh, I'll end the session here. Thank you and all the very best.